Okay, what is a circle equation? So, in other words, if you had uh, wanted to put a circle on an xy plane, so I'll put in my y-axis and my x-axis, you know, and a circle is, has a point that represents the center, and let's say we call that point hk. So we went over to the right h, and we went up k. And then we drew a circle. And I'll try to draw a circle that doesn't look too terrible. That's not bad. And all those points are the same distance from the center. So we'll call these points X and Y. So we went over X, up Y. And so the circle equation can be derived since, since the circle is all the points um, equidistant from the center. Um, you can just use Pythagorean theorem or distance formula to figure this out. So, you know, I'm not going to get into the, the difference between these, but essentially these are the same thing. So distance formula equals the square root of, maybe you have this memorized, x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Okay, so that's the distance formula. So how does that work with our problem? So let's substitute everything in. Well, distance is actually the radius of our circle. So radius equals the square root of, uh, um, well, well, let's use my second point as x and y. So it'd be x minus the x-coordinate of your center, which is h squared, plus y, which is right here, this y minus k squared, kind of to show you where I'm getting that. And if I just continue this further, we don't, we don't like to have equations with a radical involved, so I'll square both sides of the equation. And now we know that the circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared. And so that's the general form of a circle and how you derive it using the distance formula. So what does that look like in GeoGebra? So let me pull up GeoGebra so we can kind of see some of this. And here I have a circle. Notice I have HK, HK and R. And so if I change your radius, you know, half is half, half, an, a, half a centimeter here. And so the radius changes there. And you can look at the equation. Notice my radius is 2. This value here, the r squared is 4. Remember, you're squaring both, you're square both sides. So there's, um, maybe we can try to get it on 25. I, oh, there we go. So if your radius is 5, your, the r squared is 25, which should kind of make sense. Then let's say we, uh, so go back to the unit circle. So what, let's say we move h to a positive number. So notice this 3 there. I moved it to the right 3. Well, notice this x minus 3 in our equation right there. So if I move that to a negative 3, which is moving at left 3 from 0, 0 from the origin. Oh, come on. Oh, there we had it. Oh, there's negative 3. Notice this is a plus 3. And then k moves it up and down. You know, if it's 2... Can't quite, there we go. It's positive 2, notice it's up 2, and there you have y minus 2 uh, squared. If you moved it down below the x-axis, so it's negative, notice it disappears. And say we wanted to go to negative 1, notice it's plus 1 in the equation, y plus 1 squared. So there's quickly kind of just all that's controlled by it. And... So let's take a look at the general form then. Of, so let's say, you know, basically your problems in these will come in two categories. They might give you the equation. So first off, I'm going to write the general form down. So here's the general form of a circle. And so your center is h comma k, and your radius is the square root of r squared, or just r. And so let's say a problem was find the center and radius 
of the equation x minus 5 squared plus y plus 3 squared equals 25. Okay. Well, using the general form of the equation, we'll see if you can find out what the center is. You know, pause the video and see if you can get it. Well, center of the circle, in our case, or in this case, is going to be positive 5 and negative 3, because you change the sign as you come out of the parentheses there. So here's the 5, here's the 3. And it's a positive 3 here, and it's a negative 5 here. Notice how the signs changed. Okay, and then that makes the radius uh, square root of 25, which is just 5. So there's one form of the problem. Another form would be, let's say I give you a center and a, and a radius. So let's say I say the center of a circle is 5, 2. Right, there's my center and uh, uh, my, of my circle. And then the radius falls at at three, the circle falls at the point three, one. One, two, three, one. Be right there. So we've got the circle, and I'll do it in red here, that somewhat looks like this. I mean, that's not very great, but not bad. And so we need to find this radius in order to find the center of the circle. So we already know, so since the center is five, two, and this point is three, one, we could go ahead and use Pythagorean Theorem or the distance formula to figure this out. Well, I'm going to go ahead and use Pythagorean Theorem, make a little right triangle out of this thing. And so here, that leg is length of 2, that leg is length of 1. So it would be 2 squared plus 1 squared equals, and we'll call this r, r squared. And so that's 4 plus 1 equals r squared, so r is equal to squared is equal to 5, so your radius is the square root of 5. And since the center of your circle is 5, 2, you would have x minus 5 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals the square root of 5 squared, which is just 5. You know, think about that. Square root of 5 squared, well, that's square root of 5 times square root of 5, which is the square root of 25, and we know the square root of 25 is 5. I apologize, I'm talking a little fast. So let me give you two more examples that are similar to that. So let's say you had x minus 4 squared plus y uh, plus 3 squared equals 36. Okay? So pause the video and tell me what the, see if you can figure out the center and the radius. Okay, so the center would be, the center for this circle would be 4 and negative 3. And the radius for this circle is equal to 6, because that's the square root of 36. Okay, so let me do one more problem here. Okay, so then if you have um, the, another pro problem, let's say, let's say I gave you 4, 1 as the point of the center of the circle, and I gave you 0, negative 2 as a point on the circle. And I said, find the equation of that circle. Whoops, a little too far down. So, well, you know, if you graph that, it looks something like this. 1, 2, 3, 4 and up 1, so 1, 2, 3, 4, up 1 would be right there is your center. 0, negative 2 is right there. And uh, so there is your point on your circle, there's your center. So my, okay, that's terrible. That's more of an ellipse. That's the saddest circle I've ever drawn in my life. There we go. That's a, still not bad, not good, but better than nothing. So anyway, there's 4, 1, and there's 0, negative 2. And so again, you know, you could use distance formula, but I, to, I've got the picture here. So this is 1, 
and this length is uh, one, two, three, four, five of them. And so we can do Pythagorean theorem then to find r, the radius of your circle. So five squared plus one squared equals r squared. That's 25 plus one. So r squared is equal to 26. You root both sides, r is equal to the root of 26. So then you're ready to, to do your equation. Well, we know the center is 4, 1. Change your sign, so it would be x minus 4 squared plus y minus 1 squared. And that equals the square root of 26 squared, which is just 26. And so that's the equation of that particular circle. Then you could plug that into GeoGebra and uh, see it drawn a little better if you wanted to. So I hope this helps. This is this the introductory stuff. Um, the next one we, I'll show you is uh, the third type of problem is when you have to complete the square on a, on a general form equation. Complete the square or standard form. So um, the next video is completing the square uh, with your circles. So best of luck. Hope this helps and I'll do that completing the square for a circle next.